Welcome to Tennis Now's weekly news update show, where we've got all you need to know about what's going on in the world of tennis. I'm Ted Lee Peck, and today we're reviewing Day 7 of the Australian Open. In a day packed with intriguing matchups, Payne was the dominant story at the Australian Open. It was a rematch of last year's final, but this time it was in the fourth round, as Kim Kleisters took on Lung Na. The match started out evenly until Kleisters took a nasty spill behind the baseline, twisting her left ankle and landing awkwardly. The injury affected her for the remainder of the early match, and she lost the first set. Lee took charge of the match and it seemed to be Kleister's final Australian Open. It was about to come to an end when Lee raced the lead in a tiebreak and held four match points. A lapse in concentration from Lee saw a number of errors creep into her game, and Kleister stormed back to level the match. The third set was much of the same, and Lee handed the victory off to the Belgian. If Kleisters is able to compete in two days, she will have her work cut out for her against the consistent play from world number one Caroline Wozniacki, a straight set winner over Jelena Jankovic. The other quarterfinal decided today will be a constant contest between Victoria Azarenka and Agnieszka Radwanska, who contributed a loss of total six games today in a one-sided match. And on the men's side, all eyes were focused on the marquee matchup between Bernard Tomic and Roger Federer, but the performance did not live up to the hype as the Swiss thrashed the teenager that once considered Federer to be his hero. Tomic held steady in the first set, but once he earned the lead, Federer never looked back in his victory. His next opponent will be Juan Martin Del Potro, who enjoyed an easy straight set win over Philip Kohlschreiber, thanks to his punishing return. Rafael Nadal squared off against fellow compatriot Feliciano Lopez. Lopez would practically hand the win to Nadal, contributing 52 unforced errors to the 10-time Grand Slam champion. The drama of the day came from Thomas Burdich and Nicolas Almagro as they battled for nearly four hours. The four-set match, which included three tiebreaks, turned ugly late in the fourth when Almagro drilled Burdich at the net with a forehand pass attempt. Despite Almagro's apology, Burdich would have none of it and even refused to shake hands with the Spaniard at the end of the match. The Aussie crowd made sure to express their opinion on the matter, booing Burdich during his on-court interview following the match. Be sure to tune in to the Australian Open and remember to check us out at TennisNow.com to stay informed about what's going on in tennis. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-the-minute updates. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.